Okay, hello guys and welcome back Dito sa video natin ngayon uh, Nandito tayo sa GoDaddy.com Andito din tayo sa Blogger And what we're gonna do is We're gonna set up a new blog So, here in Blogger Meron siyang drop down dito And you can scroll down to the bottom And click on new blog So, click on new blog Then Ang next step is type in the title. And we'll see. Uh, invalid siya siguro dahil masyadong mahaba. Okay, mali pala yung spelling ko. Ayan. So, work from home in the Philippines. Hindi siya available. So, let's put a number there. And checking availability. And you can choose a design here while that's checking. You can choose a design that you want. And usually I just choose this particular design kasi medyo, you know, ito yung ginamit ko. Then I just modify it a little bit. Medyo mabaga lang yung net. Uh, so let's see. try again scroll down to the bottom new blog and the blog address is available so check the spelling work from home in the philippines77.blogspot.com Of course, hindi ito yung magiging final na address niya because we bought a domain name in the GoDaddy called workfromhomeinthephilippines.com So, iko-connect natin to mamaya dito sa blogspot para para mas professional yung uh, domain name niya. So, choose a theme right here and then create blog Okay, so right now wala pa siyang laman. So the next thing, the next thing that we're gonna do is we are gonna go under the settings. So dito sa settings, um, basic. So settings basic dito sa left side, makita natin yung blog address niya. Okay, then just below that there is a set up a third party URL for your blog. So ito yung gagawin natin para makonect yung GoDaddy tsaka yung blogspot or yung blogger. So, click on this link and yung binili mo na domain yun yung itatype mo dito and meron siyang instructions dito so we are just gonna follow that I've tried this before but it's been a long long time so it's good to have uh, this step by step so sabi niya mag log in ayan so yung steps na pinakita ko ito yun ayan settings basic and then since nakabili na tayo sa GoDaddy we are gonna skip yung part na you know, bibili tayo ng domain name so ang next naman is set up your domain with your blog uh And I think there was an ano. 
yung guide na sinusunod ko nakuha ko lang sa Google kasi parang nanibago ako dito sa itong guide na gi-provide nila. So I just type how to connect uh, GoDaddy to Blogger. Ito. Parang mas simple siya, mas konti yung yung steps. So just click on Uh, sa GoDaddy, click on my account uh, yung may pangalan ninyo tapos or dito na lang sa domains domains tapos all domains nagbago na kasi yung yung layout ng GoDaddy ito yung luma tapos ito yung bago so you can see the domain here and ikiklik nyo yung domain And then, tingnan natin. Uh, manage DNS, I think. And once nandito kayo sa manage DNS, mayroong mga weird technical stuff here like the A, the C name, and the NS or the name server. So, this is the part na kailangan natin i-update. And don't worry about ano yan sila, that's just the name. Okay, the A record, the C name, the name server. And the step, the step that Uh, is ito, dagdag daw tayo sa A sa A host tab and hindi ko na lang i-explain ha ano yung A, ano yung C name kasi kahit ako parang mahirap nito i-explain eh. <laughs> kahit ako hindi ko ma-explain sa sarili ko kasi technical talaga siya but you know, this is, this is just the necessary step and how I put it in my mind para hindi ako malito is you know, it's, it's just a step by step procedure na susundin mo lang So, the first step is itong sa A record uh, magkiklik tayo ng add or pwede natin i-edit yung existing Ayan. So, under the A host tab the enter the four IP addresses Okay, so itong apat uh, points to Tama ba itong ginagawa ko? Ayan, tama lagi. So, ito. Time to live. Ano man tong time to live? I don't know. So, we're ju we'll just leave, leave that as is. Then save. And then, let's go ahead and we will add another. Add. So, A. Uh, ano yung host? Ang host siguro is at Ayan. Uh, 216 so yung second na tayo okay. so save and then I notice na itong isa 600 seconds itong isa is 1 hour So, I'm just gonna go ahead and edit yung first one. Gawin ko ring 1 hour. I don't know what that does, but para pantay ba? Para tapos natin to kaya nakakalito. The next, next naman is let's add another. Let's add points to this. Then save. And finally, the fourth one is a record at points to this and save so that, that's the setup and although wala siya masyadong sense kung bakit natin yung ginagawa you know rest assured na by doing that ma makokonek itong vlogger tsaka itong uh, GoDaddy so that's the cause and effect the side effect and let's see kung meron pa tayong kailangan gawin okay For the name, enter only the subdomain. Okay, for example, if you pick, okay. So the next step, pala is. So C name na naman daw ang idagdag, nakadagdag na tayo ng A. So itong C name, ang gagawin natin is. Sorry, kaya C name for record for you. Click the pencil icon. So 
meron namang C name so i-edit na lang natin ayan nandito by default GoDaddy will already add the uh, C name here so edit and gagawin daw siyang ghs.google.com so www points to ghs.google.com like what they show in the screenshot here or ang default setting daw is 1R okay at least I learned something okay pala na 1R so save and what else this is how you can actually okay okay and then that's the setup for the domain manager we uh, go daddy domain manager we added the a record so we use the at tapos yung first IP address a record at second a record at yung third IP address a record at and then yung fourth IP address and then the second step is to edit the C name we change natin na yung www pupunta dito sa GH, ghs.google.com and the thing here is just follow the same process that's it you know no need to go into the details even if you research about it a c name parang nakakalito yung explanation sa google what is a record what is c name what is name server what is you know in my nine years of working online almost going 10 years you know bahala na hindi ko maintindihan basta makatrabaho ako yun lang ang yun lang yung uh, nasa mind ko and then uh, dito naman sa blogger.com once na set up natin yung sa GoDaddy that way the exact the exact same steps is i enter natin yung domain name work from home in the philippines.com then click save blogs may not be hosted so nagreklamo siya so dagdaga natin ng www yan work from home in the philippines and hit save we have not been able to verify. Locate your domain name says server. Okay. So, we'll just follow the instructions. Tapos na ito. Mm, may gusto pa siyang idagdag na CNAME. So, sabi niya. Sabi niya is, ito yung sa left side, ito yung sa right side. So, let's add a CNAME ba siya? Okay. CNAME nga. So, since nandito tong actually, I'm a bit hesitant. Uh, I am a bit hesitant to edit this one here. Domain connect, ganito. But, so what I'll do is I'll just copy this para in case masipiat ko. Uh, but when I set it up, yung mga previous domains, hindi ko na to delete But I'm, I have a theory na okay lang na i-delete ito. Palitan natin yung galing sa blogger so ayan so copy paste lang under the c name ito tsaka ito then save ayan and ano pang gawin ok na siguro to refresh natin kung para makita natin kung na save ba siya and it's very normal na ma-confuse at this point but rest assured na ito lang yung part na medyo ganito na weird siya na very technical step na there's there's no sense to it it's just a matter of following the the step by step instructions and mimicking it's just a ma matter of mimicking the steps and while that's loading try natin i-save yung sa blog address dito sa blogspot hopefully it will now work and if it doesn't work sometimes it just takes a few minutes so hintayan mo lang mga 5 minutes or 10 minutes mabagal din lang nito let's try let's try transferring again Okay, at least, at least na save yung uh, information dito. Saving. We have not been dhs.google.com. Tapos naman. C name. 
Tapos, itong isa is yan. Ito, Google Hosted. Tapos, merong additional instruction dito. But, I'm really, I'm really guessing na it's just a matter of, you know, 2 minutes, 3 minutes, or 5 minutes. Tapos, meron silang guide just for GoDaddy. What I did was, I click on ito. Setting instructions. And then, I open the GoDaddy. Ay, wala siya. Hmm. O baka nag-change na yung ano, IP address. 216239322.21 Tingnan natin. 216. Pareho lang naman pareho. Okay, so let's try saving it again parin siya. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait 5 minutes and I'm gonna try saving this again. So in the meantime, I will pause this video and I'll get back to you. Okay guys, so I think I have found the culprit. Bakit hindi nagalood yung nandito? Kasi pala, yung pagkapi ko nito dito, gipaste ko man dito sa CNAME. Pagpaste ko, meron palang naiwan doon sa dulo na itong rol.com kasi yung original pala nya is uh, ito man domain control so naiwan yung role rol.com sa dulo so I just need to delete the one there at the end and click save and wait for wait for maybe a few minutes for that to update and then let's see uh, i-compare natin yung tama ba YFH WVU AQPR 73 yung isa naman is GVLZ VO J4 WOEE V TUD dot DV dot Google hosted dot com okay so I think that should be it then we'll just wait for like 5 or 10 minutes and I'll resume the video hello guys welcome back so it turns out na okay na yung uh, error kanina um, I added back itong C name a few hours ago kasi nag research ko siya and it turns out na kailangan pala ito and hindi pa rin siya nag work Okay, so what I did was after adding this, and of course after adding yung mga dinagdag natin na A, tsaka yung IP address, tsaka yung C name, and then, you know, the, the, I, there wasn't really a lot of changes. I just added this one, and then I waited for like 2 or 3 hours. So pagbalik ko doon, pagclick ko ng save, okay na. So it turns out na it just takes a while. Dati kasi minsan ano lang, mga... 5 minutes but today ang tagal abot ng how many hours before siya mag okay and nandito nandito tayo balik sa blogger dito sa settings basic na page there is one more setting that we need to do and that is to click on edit and then uh, wait lang ha meron yung option dito kanina so isa save ko muna And so, nan pwede na natin i-visit yung website through www.workfromhomeinthephilippines.com So, try natin kung walang www. Uh, work from home. Kung mag-work ba siya? Okay. At least mag-redirect siya. So, Publishing. Merong option pala dito sa baba na redirect work from home in the Philippines to www.workfromhomeinthephilippines so it's a check lang natin ito so that's the final this is the final setting that we need to do make sure that this one here is checked then click save and once that's save okay na um, minsan kasi 
kung i-type mo ang www.workfromhome, magdating siya dito sa website. But pag yung mga visitors natin na nagpunta sa website, nalimutan nila yung www, um, hindi siya pupunta dito, mag-error siya. So that is why it's very important to go inside here and check this one. So that's it for this video. Um, in the next video, we're gonna start adding the content and the videos here and the articles. So that's it. Thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video.